So I found some old footage of an unsuccessful day of primitive spearfishing and I never put this posted this because what happened is the water ended up being really cloudy from they released a bunch of water from the dam and basically ruined all of our opportunities for spear fishing. So I never posted this video but I thought it might provide a little bit of entertainment. Such silliness. It's tracking up the pose. Okay, right there. Today, we're going. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> so today we're gonna be, uh, so today we're gonna be trying out my new harp. Make sure you're looking right here too. Not right there. I Everyone makes the like mistakes of looking there instead of right there and it looks like they're it's talking so off into someone else besides their viewers. Kind of staring at someone's ear. Yeah. And what we're going to be harpooning today is that gentleman right there. He's unknowing of his fate that awaits him. Alright, so seriously. We're going to be trying out my new harpoons. My new spears. My new fish spears. They're pretty cool. Want to see them? Ah ha, I'm not going to show you. <laughs> so none of these things that I've made are 100% primitive. These, and which is what I actually, what is actually what I do with a lot of my stuff that I make because it takes so much time to make things primitively. I make a lot of prototypes using, you know, power tools even. And uh, so then once I find something that works, then I use it to, uh, then I use primitive methods. So there's type number one. This is my, so there's type number one. This is a, an antler harpoon head that with a detachable shaft here and it's the dog bane cordage is attached to the, to my hazel shaft. And this one's just a very quick deer leg bone with a barb in it. Oh, that's sharp. And then when these break, not if, when these break, um, this is an elk leg bone that I will tie on to the shaft there. And we'll give that a whirl, little country girl. There it is. Yeah, baby. Let's do it. Hey, buddy. 